in this video we are going to solve this particular map so this is a contour map it's just like a three point problem let's see how to solve this problem first you see the question we have to read the question very carefully so here the question is the function between a sandstone bed and an underlying shale crops out at q and r okay so the function between so there is a uh, intersection bed so sandstone and shale which is crop out in q and q and r the same bed is at 30 meter 30 meter at p okay so at p the same bed that is sandstone and shale the intersection of sandstone and shale is at 30 meter depth here that means actually here the sandstone and the shale boundary is at 270 meter 270 meter that means so this is 300 so here it is 300 300 meter surface is 300 meter elevation okay but the bed is around 30 meter below so that means minus 30 meter so that is 270 meter so actually this contour surface value is 2 uh, 300 but the p value is 270 for for the sandstone and shale okay okay then the shale bed is 10 meter thick okay the shale bed so uh, the shale bed is 10 meter thick 10 meter and this is underlined by a mudstone so below it is there is a mudstone the sandstone bed is 30 meter thick so there is a boundary between sandstone and shale so that is so the sandstone is above it so that is around 30 meter and above that there is a flaggy limestone limestone so this is a geological section so this is a geological section okay this is the order so there's a mudstone below there's a mudstone then shale with 10 meter thickness and a sandstone with 30 meters thickness and a flaggy limestone is above that okay this is the order and the boundary between this one sandstone and the shale it is outcropping at q and r and it is around 30 meter that is 270 meter okay 30 meter below the surface okay now you can solve the same map with the three point method okay by using the three point method let's see how to do it as you know that when you do when you try to solve this problem with the three point method so we have to connect the lower elevation point and the higher elevation point so here q is at 290 meter r is at 280 meter p actually ground surface is 300 but actually it is 270 okay so let me repeat again q 290 or 280 and p is 270 270 meter so the lowest point is p and the highest point is q okay now you just connect this two point dry line dry line as you know that this is uh, only one point one value that is 270 and 290 that means 280 will come in the center only one line will come okay so divide this line into two So 2.5 now you connect R and the point with the line
then you measure a 2 point centimeter from here a perpendicular line perpendicular point connect this to or draw a parallel line so divide the entire map by using this interval and draw the strike line or the structural contour line so we have drawn all the structural contours now you can give the value so this is 270 270 this is 280 this is 290 300 this is 260 okay, let me rub it so this is a boundary between sandstone so I'll write here sandstone and shale right now find out the intersection point so 300 is not connecting 290 it is somewhere here and it is somewhere here and 280 it is here and here 270 260 is not coming now connect with smooth uh, line The first boundary is so sandstone and shale boundary is drawn. Okay. Now you mark shale and mudstone. Shale and mudstone boundary. So the shale thickness is 10 meter. So that is below the sandstone. Okay. Now so that means this value this strike value will becomes 290 the subsequency it will reduce 280 270 250 okay now find out 290 intersection of the point one here another one 280 270 260 is not coming so now connect these points So this is the boundary between sandstone and flaggy limestone. So this is a flaggy limestone. This one is a sandstone. Now you can color this. Next you have to draw the cross section along X and Y. Draw a line here. So now as usual take a strip of paper and mark the boundary then the condos and plot that in a separate paper. So this one is X 
and this is y Two eight zero, two ninety, three hundred, three hundred. Try baseline in a fresh sheet of paper. Transfer this point x and y. Draw the vertical line and make the scale. So now I have drawn the horizontal and the vertical section. Now you try to plot the topography using the contours. join with smooth line so it's come like this now find out the structural contours note the values of structural contours and then plot the bed I have transferred and written all the structural contour values here in the sheet and using this I am going to plot the structural contour and the bed of the different formations so let's start the plotting the values values in the cross section so shale and the sandstone boundary that is 300 so next one is 200, 290 and this one is 280 Next, shale and mudstone. Two ninety. This is two eighty. Two seventy. Two points is sufficient. If you want, you can go for three. Now join this line. Right, then then we have sandstone flaky, which is a top of bed, so it will come here. So three thirty. Uh, of course, you are not doing this. So I will start with the three ten. I'm using this one three ten and three. Sorry, three ten like this. So three ten. Which is here somewhere here 310. Next is 300. This one is 300, and this one is 290, which will come here somewhere here. Okay. So now the formations are plotted. So this one is flaggy limestone. This one is sandstone. This is shale and this one is mudstone. So you can color it and your section is ready. You can find out the dip and strike from the condor using the strike interval. 
so give color the same color you have to give in the cross section also and write down the geological section okay now your map and the cross section is ready